Martini. I have been waiting for, and I say this. Oops, let me be careful. I say this special moment for you all. Hold on. Okay, hello everybody. So, this is the moment we have all been waiting for. Actually, the moment I have been waiting for to share with you. It is my honor to present to you ta -da -da, Christian Louboutin. Christian Louboutin. So, yes, I have these for a oh, while. Wow, I really had no special occasion at the moment so i thought maybe make it a special video and i think now is a very special time and moment to review these shoes so let's go so yes um i'm very excited to finally explain the whole situation <laughs> um so yes um when did I first get introduced to Christian Louboutin? Actually, I don't remember. I, I do actually. Oh, what time? I'm not saying what time. Which visit was it? I've been to Paris four times. And I remember it was maybe my third time. Yes, my third, second or third time. Maybe it was there five times. I lost count. Anyways, I seen this nice French guy. He had a suit on. They all were in suits eating baguette on the corner walking to work i was like oh my god i thought i had to check my pulse like wait where am i what happened am i still alive anyhow so i remember when i was eating with my friends and they were french um from ghana there was a guy and um at the bar and another guy and they were all dressed so nice and i remember when he walked away he had on red bottom shoes and he had all nice fancy like uh, man's shoes and I thought wow that is style it just looks so fancy and beautiful um and yeah and I, I see a couple women wear them and um but I think well for sure I got mine before Cardi B came up with the song these are blood what she say these are red bottom these are blood shoes I don't have for you so yeah so anyhow, I was like, yeah. So anyhow, the shoes were just sexy. They were just freaking sexy. I don't care how you look. When you put on those red bottoms, you're going to feel divine. <laughs> That's the key word today, divine. So uh, <clears throat> I want to do a close-up. Um, so I, I want to do, of course, when I open it, I'm going to get closer, but you're not going to see my full body. Right now, you cannot see my full body because it's a professional camera. I don't know why with the professional camera, I cannot get my full body. It's so complicated. But with an iPhone, you can get everything. It's just like, it's so backwards, right? It should be the other way around. But anyhow uh even though i got the newest iphone to me the quality is not as great i don't know why so i'm going to do different um angles to try to get you the best of this presentation so with that being said let's go over some history and don't you love my beautiful flowers it's from a fan thank you let's get straight to the business but first i have to educate you i know you have to do the boring part first i know it's boring but you know you have to know about christian louis vuitton louis vuitton everything is vuitton vuitton yeah angles are great right <laughs> all right so let's get to it i really have to make sure i'm on camera check Everything is perfecto, as they were saying in Italian, perfecto. So, it's time, drum roll. Alright, history first, right? What is life without just a little bit of education? I'm sure everybody knows Christian Louboutin is a French brand. Very popular. What are the best brands in the world when it comes to shoes clothing okay i'm not putting on america we do have great designs but i think 
most things originated in France or Italy. So what is Christian Louboutin famous for? Louboutin shoes are one of the most expensive shoes because of their craftsmanship, luxury materials, and brand name. These shoes are highly, oh my god, I googled this word. Oh, now I forgot how to pronounce it. Uh, COVID. -ed? Anyhow, scratch that. Aunt are some of the most expensive shoes. And why? Because of their craftsmanship, luxury materials, and brand name. These shoes are high demand, which also works the drive of the price. So could you imagine these shoes are something that takes time and precious attention. Christian Louis Vuitton is one of the world's most well-known shoe designer. The red soles of his designs have been synonymous with luxury and celebrity. These are blush shoes. These are blush shoes. Something like that, right? Anyhow, so let's keep going. His stiletto footwear incorporates shiny red lacrit, right? And that stands for glossy, glossy soles. You remember what they used to use to stamp um, the envelopes back in the days, that little red seal? I think that was probably wax or whatever. But anyhow, initially, he was a freelance designer for fashion houses. And that could explain it because it's the paint, right? It's, it resembles the paint, the shininess. And mwah. So he partnered with some organizations and it just took off from there. See, that wasn't long, huh? Anyhow, um, yeah, I wish to go on more. I should. Actually, I, I had um, information about the shoe and now I don't. But let's get to it. Wow, there's a story behind the story of the shoes. How the woman fell in love with her shoes. <laughs> I don't know. I think everybody loves shoes, right? Yeah, you must feel good with what you're wearing. So, look how, you know, I have to wait for these over a month because they did not have my size. They had to order them. And then something happened with the shoes, so they had to order them again. And I was like, hey, you know. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. The average price of Christian Louboutin shoes run anywhere from $500 to $2,000. Like, oh my god, yes. And um, the pair of shoes I got, I'll tell you more about it later. I thought they were like, I mean, of course, they're the average price. Oh, I think I'll do something. Uh, so yeah, this is, you know, your little, I don't know, um, card. They put your receipt in because they're so fancy and bougie. And I got them a Rodale Drive, you know, get your little business card. And so that's the signature look. So let's go ahead and open these bad boys. But, hold on. Okay, so, um... I found the name of the shoes. They are called, there's something about Kate. I, I love shoes with the name Kate when it comes to Christian Louis Vuitton. To me, those are the classic or the classy type pump. They're gonna be called Kate. So these are called Kate Patton Pointed Toe Red Sole High Heel Pumps. Oh, that was a mouthful, right? Currently they're going, well, I shouldn't even tell you all that right now. But anyhow, let's just open it, damn it. I know, I have to tease you guys, but you have been such a wonderful watchers. And before I get into it, please like, share, or subscribe. I actually do all of it. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. And there will be a lot much to share with you and lots to look forward to. All right, so... Da, da, da. It feels like Christmas time. It is Christmas again. <laughs> I'm so silly. Ah, nice 
wood smell. Now, what you're going to get here, because they are so fancy, is going to come with a dust bag with extra tips for the heel. In case you're walking in Rome, with the Roman roads, don't get caught in the cobblestones. Uh, I wouldn't dare wear these shoes and no. Nope, these, I'll call these VIP shoes. Okay, I don't need to get into that right now. But um, anyhow, I talked about the dust bags. So you're going to get two dust bags for each pair of shoe. Um, let me do close-ups. So hopefully you can see me just good, right? Yeah, I'll make sure I'm recording. <laughs> okay okay i'm recording so those are your dust bags and it's great because you don't have to have both shoes rubbing against each other because you have two separate ones and how smart are they the bag now this is how it's going to come okay. oh my god they're so beautiful Oh my god, I am in love again. I just fell in love again. So, you smell so good. Now, um, yeah. Oh, they smell so good. Now, I am a half size sometimes, which is interesting because. The guy, now look at these, look how gorgeous they are. Just look how gorgeous, like, come on. You can't get any more gorgeous than that. You know what I should do? I'm gonna put a mirror behind there so I can see what I'm doing. Oh my God, I'm a genius, all right? Hold on, let me know, I'll do it later. But anyhow, can you see? Let's see. You know, Um. okay. These kind of remind me of, <laughs> oh my god, look, to me, they remind me of candy. It's like candy. Look how shiny and beautiful they are, just gorgeous. And it's like a mirror reflection. Oh my god, look inside. Now, this is how the back looks. These are blush shoes. I don't F of you. <laughs> Now, explaining these shoes, oops, now explaining these shoes, move this out the way, uh, I will try them on, of course, um, I'll hold them here, so these are called, um, hold on, <laughs> there's another name to it, which I like, they call it Psychic, they are called, Kate Psychic Patent Letter Pumps. Now they are four inches, four inch stilettos. Also, they will go by millimeters, and in millimeters, it's 102. To me, on average, like 100, anything under 100 millimeters is good for me. Uh, not too short, but also not too high. Uh, what else to explain these shoes? Classy shape that's saucy and Glossy pattern with leg lifting elevation. Oh my god, doesn't that sound so sexy? Pointy toe. Oh, you heard the you know when they scrape against each other. So, yes, I think to me they have that metallic look, that candy look, that shiny mirror look, and it's just all red. They actually have the bag to go with it, and I'm getting tempted. Now, of course, Christian Louboutin is famous and known for running small, so please understand that. You're going to have to go at least a size up. In the comments, it says half a size, but no. To me, it's one size to one point and a half size, so one and a half size up. So, for example, let's see what this they try to say 41 is a 10, but I don't think so. I end up getting 42, which is 11, but, but whatever. I don't even know anymore. We're going to get into another day. So with these, I got 41 and a half. 
But um, actually, let me Google it while I tell you the story. So the guy um, who was helping me you know, while I was shoe shopping, he wanted me to get 41. And to me, 41, my foot felt like, oh my God, I thought I was going to die. And I just said, nope, I can't do it. Um, but he kept saying, no, the shoe is going to stretch. And um, hold on. <laughs> that is not safe to walk around with big shoes or shoes that are too big for you which i told you it's not safe so at the same time you don't want to be in pain to me it's okay if it's just a little bit space a little bit lifting uh, it's not such a big deal um conversion so yes you're going to learn a conversion chart so european let's see for women so they say 40 is between nine and a half and 10, as opposed to just saying 40 is a 10. That's why I say 42. I'm going like two size up sometimes, but this is 41 and a half. So I, I went one and a half size up. 41 is considered a 10 and a half to 11. Like, come on, you're trying to make me look like Dennis Robin here? I don't know. So anyhow, 42 is what, like 12 and a half? <laughs> Like, this is ridiculous. But anyhow, let's try on these beautiful, sexy babies. Oh. Da, da, da. I'm going to do a close-up when I'm putting them on. I'm going to put them on. And see, actually, depending on the time of the year, I think in the winter, your feet shrink. See, to me, they fit tight. He wanted me to get tighter. He's crazy. I would have died. Like, actually, I should have got 42. Well, no. Actually, no. I tried on 42. And, yeah, this is kind of lifting, actually, when I walk. You see how it just comes up? And 42 was really, like, it was, like, flopping off. So, yeah, 42 would have been not good. But, um, ooh. So, I think the unique, sexy part of Cushion would be torn is that it shows those little what do you call those creases between your toes maybe not sexy for the frenchman oh my god i don't even know where he is Whew, i have to break these bad boys in because baby oh yeah I think these are perfect size. I'm ready to get the damn purse. Oh my god. Alrighty. Cushion will be torn. Here we go. Now, these shoes are gorgeous. Um, was it worth it? I didn't give you the price. Currently $849. And plus tax and so it's then the total is like 900 or something but hey you need to treat yourself and you need to feel good and divine then go ahead and buy yourself a pair of cushion when you so all right i'll just kind of walk in there now you will have to break them in trust me I'm not going to sit there and lie and say they're the most comfortable shoes in the world a lot of people have rated them to be a little bit you know, tight and a little bit uncomfortable. But that's the thing, you have to master the skills to <laughs> walk in uncomfortable heels, break them in, and be confident during the process. So, there you go. Now, these. Now, as you see how they kind of come up, even though they feel tight, they still easily, you know, and that's why the guy wanted me to get an extra half a size bigger. And I was like, I'm sorry, smaller. But smaller, no, I'm dying. Like, no. <laughs> Even though I, fit, I can fit in a half a size smaller. Okay, the reason why I don't believe in that, I don't want hammer toes, corns, and bunions. Like, no, 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 thank you. So to avoid that, please wear proper size shoes because it's not worth it if you're going to have to need to get surgery so now let me come a little closer so 
there you have it, the Christian would be taunt. Um, wow, what do you think? <laughs> Tell me, what do you think? Now, I actually didn't anticipate on getting these. These were like the new season or they were like, what do you call it? Like the, the new release, I don't know how you, you know, how you would um, entail it. but. I wanted just regular red. That was my whole goal. Just regular red pumps. But I seen these and I was like, why? Why do you have to do this to me? So I couldn't help it. I was like, no, no, I can't let these babies go. It's just too unique. And I was hoping that these are not the kind of shoes where the, the it'll be like a fad, like, oh, it's like popular, then it goes out of style, like a trend. I don't think it will be a trend. Okay, I think these will do it. So, these are your close ups. So, like I said, these are gorgeous, sexy, trendy, and I already feel like I'm breaking them in. I already feel very comfortable in these. Even though the first time I slipped them in, it wasn't so much of a slip in. But just just look at that gloss. Look at that liquid. That beautiful... I was supposed to put the red carpet on for this, but whatever. I forgot about the red carpet. Um, but it's okay because I am keeping these shoes. I am definitely going to break them in. And the fact that they got red tips, it's like, come on. You know, i never seen red tips in the shoes. So there you go. Um, there's the bottom. <laughs> Let me try to hold on to something. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. Something new I should do. All right. getting nervous I'm getting nervous but yes they make you look very sexy and elegant courtesy close-up yes I am in love obviously I'm in love yes get your red bottoms <laughs>